And joining us now is Jeff Antonio of Maryland Summer Jazz. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Well, tell us, what is Maryland Summer Jazz? Well, we began 16 years ago, and the idea was to have a place for adult amateurs and semi-pros to come and learn this music of jazz. And at that time, and really still to this day, all the educational opportunities are for kids or college students, um, adults that love this music and really want to play, didn't have any place, honestly, around the country to do this, let alone in our area. So it really uh, was started to fill a need. So did they learn how to play jazz or did they learn how to move their musical craft forward? You know, it's a little of each. People that come to us certainly have some experience playing their instrument. Uh, it's not a place where we're going to teach you how to play a guitar or a saxophone. You show up knowing how to play. These folks generally have some experience with improvising and with the great jazz music that we love, Miles Davis and everything else but of course, still learning how to do it. So when folks come to us four days later, their understanding is so much deeper. They're uh, having a plan of, of what to do next and understanding one of the biggest things is there's other folks that are around uh, that love doing this work. It started off as a regional thing for the, you know, the three or four state area. And now we have people coming from all over the world and that's been happening for years because again, Folks love this music, and in most parts of the world, there isn't something built for adults. So you're saying this is your 16th year you've been doing this, but this is the first year doing it virtually online. What's that going to look like? Well, it's interesting. Us, like so many other people, have had to sort of pivot and understand how we can do online work. So I've been pretty fortunate because I've been working online with music for the last two or three years. I founded jazzwire.net, which is an online experience for adults, and it was built to include people from around the world. Someone in Australia who is, you know, 18 hours off in time from us. How can I serve those people, those adult students? So two years ago, I started jazzwire.net, and we interact online in a uh, way where somebody in Australia records themselves, posts themselves, maybe playing 30 seconds of something, and I give them a lesson on what I hear. And so it's this huge community of 300 people now around the world who are interacting and working together. So fortunately, I had some experience with how do I take what is usually a one-on-one -on -one experience or me working with a band, which of course I've done for decades, how can we do this online? So I adopted this a couple years ago. So when the COVID virus struck and we had to decide, is this something we're gonna go forward with? I know the need is there. And with the virus, there's, it's never been a greater need of people wanting to connect, people wanting to move forward with their music. So it was clear to me just from a mission statement standpoint, we have to do this. We have to give people something at this time. So I know there are, again, two sessions and the first one begins next week. Uh, yes, and some really top shelf musicians will be working with you. Name some of the people. Yeah, well, this year w was exciting because we always have a fantastic core faculty. I bring people in from New York and from Pittsburgh. I mean, some of the finest, you know, regional names on the East Coast um, who can come in and play. So somebody like Paul Bolenbach on guitar or sing, uh, Sherry Miracle on drums or Tony Martucci on drums, Jen Krupa on trombone. So these sort of folks are at the pinnacle of their career in the Mid-Atlantic or in New York. They teach at major universities. So that's great. But this year, because of this Zoom setting, every musician you can imagine is sitting at home. This very moment, they're at home. So I called some of the legends, Peter Erskine on drums, one of the most legendary living drummers that there's out there. Peter Erskine is joining us for a special presentation. Rick Margitza from Paris. He was Miles Davis's last saxophone player. Rick Margitza is joining us. And Wycliffe Gordon from the Wynton Marcellus Band. And Jeff Coffin from the Dave Matthews Band. So I just started coming up with a crazy wish list and every person I called said yes. So uh, in addition to the core faculty that people work with at Maryland Summer Jazz, you get to work with you know some of these just pinnacle sort of players who will be coming in and doing presentations for us each of the eight days of Maryland Summer Jazz. Talk about when, when the sessions begin and are there any slots still available? 
Yeah, we do have some slots uh, still available, which is fantastic. I was just looking at that today. The first session is uh, July 15th through 18th. So that's next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then we have session two the next week, which is uh, July 22nd through 25th. So traditionally, we have people attend all four days. That's the experience that, as artistic director, I've sculpted. That's the experience where someone will take somebody into a whole nother place with their playing. We can do that in four days. That said, I understand not everybody has the time or the resources to do that. So we have observer spots. So someone could come in for just one day. Perhaps you want to work with Ingrid Jensen, who's our special guest on trumpet. So you could find out the day Ingrid's uh, presenting and then attend all the classes that day, all the workshops, the master classes, the electives, the combo playing situations. So somebody can come in for one day as well, and uh, we're happy to have people like that. And Jeff, is there any website someone can go just to, go to to sign up? Absolutely, MarylandSummerJazz.com. So that's simple, Maryland Summer Jazz, and all the information is there, and it's an online sign up. So you can sign up for one day, you can sign up for four days, or a deal to sign up for uh, both sessions if you want to do it. So I'd encourage people to do it. The big thing about Maryland Summer Jazz is it's about playing together as a group. So we talk a lot about group dynamics. We talk about improvisation. So um, that's something that is not really instrument specific. It, mm -hmm. So that's something where I can sit with a trumpet player. Actually, most of my students are not uh, sax players. Um, I have bass players and piano players and trombone players, and we can talk about the nuts and bolts of the music uh, that way. So it works out well. Okay, Jeff Antonio, Maryland Summer Jazz, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thanks.